Hey y'all, and welcome back to Cooking with Ro. So last week, my dad had dental surgery, meaning lots of mushy foods, including his favorite, my roasted squash soup. Our main ingredient is butternut squash, although you can substitute this for an array of squash like acorn squash or pumpkin. To get that creamy consistency, we will mix in some broth. I use chicken or vegetable broth depending on what I have at hand. We're gonna also add several cloves of garlic. My dad and I love garlic. As well as an entire onion, diced. Salt and pepper. If you've been following along, then you know I love to use pink Himalayan salt. Any high temp cooking oil. I use my trusty sunflower coconut mixed oil. Let's begin by preheating our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or approximately 200 degrees Celsius. We're gonna take out our squash and cut off both ends. And this will give us a nice smooth, even surface. And now place it on one of the cut sides and slice it down the core evenly. Hopefully you'll get two beautiful halves. Now we're going to scoop out the insides. You can use the seeds and plant your own squash or you can feel free to roast them for a tasty treat later. Just be careful, these things get slippery. Where did they go? Where did go? Next, we're going to pierce the skin of the squash with a fork. Squashes are from the gourd family. Originally, they come from the New World, the Americas. But what are they really? Are they a fruit or a vegetable? Botanically, they're classified as a fruit, but in food prep, we generally regard them as we would a vegetable. Much like tomatoes in that regard. Here's a close-up of my perforated squash. Cover your pan with a baking sheet. Place your squash flesh side up. You can choose to flip it over after we season them, but it's not necessary. Next, we're gonna coat the flesh with the oil. Make sure that you cover them completely and spread it liberally. Following that, we add the salt. And then the pepper. Now our squash is prepped and ready for the oven. Place them in the oven for approximately 50 minutes. You'll know when the squash is roasted when you can stick a butter knife through it easily. Now, if you want a delicious side, you can stop here and have it roasted or mashed. I'm gonna separate two halves for a side then the remaining two halves I'll use to make a soup. Time for the soup. Let's begin by dicing our onions and placing them into a pot. Next, let's crush our garlic using the side of our knife. This makes it easier to peel. Then we're gonna dice it and place it into our pot with our onions. Add some oil and place the pot on the stove top to a medium to medium high heat. If you've been watching, then you already know about my sugar trick. Add some sugar to your onions to help cut the acid. Now let them sweat a bit till the red onion becomes paler and translucent. Once that's done, Take out your cooked onions and garlic and place them into a larger bowl. Next, take your now roasted squash and scoop out the flesh and place it into the bowl. Mix it all together. Take a blender and mix your squash, onions, and garlic with your broth. I do a little less than a one-to-one -one ratio but the consistency is all up to your preference, as this step will determine how viscous your soup will be. 
Keep this going until all your squash is used. Place the pot back onto the stove to reheat it and add the final touches. I add in some more salt and pepper. And my secret little touch, a dash of nutmeg. Yes, this is a secret tip and totally not because I forgot to include it in the intro. And with that, you're done. Congratulations, your hard work has paid off into rewarding hearty soup. Perfect for post-dental work or under the weather day. Mmm, scrumptious. Comment down below if you get that reference. This concludes today's video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back next week. Ciao!